Sometimes I get annoyed, but sometimes I don't get annoyed. Here I am, president of, former president of my country, no problem in Tanzania, we've never had these problems that they have. But I'm an African and they see me, and they ask me the problems of Rwanda. I said, but I don't come from Rwanda, but you come from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't meet everybody, I don't meet an Englishman somewhere. Eh? If, if, if Blair was to come to Dar es Salaam, I don't ask him what is happening in, uh, in uh, Bosnia. <laughs> it, it never occurs to me. I should ask Blair, what is happening to you Europeans because of what is happening in uh, if, if President Cole was to come somewhere, you know, I don't ask him, what is happening in Chechnya? Well, Cole, Cole could say, what, why are you asking me anything about Chechnya? I don't know what is happening in Chechnya. But this is not true about Africa. About Africa, Mr. President, you go, here you are, trying to build something which is a tremendous, a tremendous uh, experience. But perhaps you are different, because sometimes they think South Africa is, is different. So perhaps they would say, ah, oh, but this is President Mandela, this is different, you know, it's not... Uh... <laughs> but, but for the likes of me, no, I'm an African. <laughs> Well, I say sometimes I, I get irritated, but then I say, why? Why do I get irritated? Because, of course I'm a Tanzanian, but what is this Tanzania? What is this Tanzania? Why is it, see, is, should this European see me as a Tanzanian? What is this Tanzania? This is something we tried to create in my lifetime. I, 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 I built Tanzania. So what is this Tanzania? The Europeans are right. The North Americans are right to look at me as an African. What is your per capita income? Your, your, your per capita income. Your per capita income now is about $3,000 a year. That's your per capita income. Of course, compared with Tanzania, you are a giant. But you are poor. <laughs> you are poor. When you begin to use that money, this is arithmetic. This is simply arithmetic. If you divide the world country eh, for, in, for the population, eh, of course, everybody gets $3,000. But not, not everybody in this country is getting $3,000. <laughs> that would be a miracle, boy. <laughs> so that is simply arithmetic. So when you begin to use that wealth, Mr. President, and I know you are trying to, to address to address the legacy of apartheid, you have no money. You are still different from Tanzania, but you have no money. You are still more powerful. So for Tanzanians and the others to say, you know, South Africa's big brother, they must not throw their weight. What kind of weight? <laughs> And in any case, and in any case, this would be this would be positive weight, not the negative weight of Africa. <laughs> so this is a different Africa. So I'm saying this Africa now is changing. Neo-colonialism is being fought, I think, more effectively. We have a, a new leadership in Africa which is going to fight neo-colonialism more effectively. And I believe. The one region which can lead this fight is our region. After the end of our party, and after South Africa joining SADC, this area of Africa is a very solid area of Africa. It's an extremely solid area. It, it, it's strong, it has serious leaders. The, these leaders know one another, I know it because we, we, I know some, where some of them have come from. 
<laughs> they have a habit of working together. Mr. President, let them work together. Deliberately, this should be a serious decision to work together. Why? You have no other choice. Yeah. Yeah. You have absolutely no other choice. People, South Africa, because of your infrastructure, you, you can attract more, more investment from Europe, from North America, than Tanzania can. Fine. Do it. Do it. Use, use your capacity to get as much, as much investment as you can. That's good. But then don't be isolated from the rest of Africa. <laughs>